Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Peter. I want to share with you guys today the most amazing white sea bass dive I've ever had. It was unbelievable. And if I told the story, it would sound unbelievable. But look, you know me, I got it on video. So I'm going to share it with you right now. I get to the spot. I'm in the water. I've probably made about seven or eight dives already and the bottom's maybe 18 20 feet and i get to the spot and i take a breath and i make my quiet descent to the bottom and here's where we begin the video here i am dropping to the bottom to see what I can see. So I'm trying to decide which way to go. It looks a little too light in this direction. And then it looks a little too light in this direction as well. So I decide to head towards the denser and hazier water. Just slowly working my way through, trying to look up whenever possible in case there's any white sea bass above. I'm moving slowly, methodically, trying to be very quiet, constantly scanning and searching, when all of a sudden, out of the darkness, oh my god, look! Don't be greedy, just take the close one. Yes! Connect, score! Oh my god, what just happened? That was a huge school! And I got one of them. So oh awesome, god. that looks solid. So stoked. Let's see that again. Emerging from the darkness, from nothing to this amazing ghostly school. I take aim at the closest one and connect. I didn't want to take my time and pick a larger one for fear that they would just boom away. Later when I looked at the footage, the school ranged from 40 pounders all the way to 70 pounders. And I actually shot one of the smaller ones. And I was still happy because a larger one would have been a pain to carry out of this spot since this was a shore dive. Now listen to this deep croak from this white sea bass before I put him to sleep. Amazing. This thing is both majestically beautiful and deliciously tasty. And now I'm going to head back to shore. I've got to swim this guy through the kelp on my stringer. He adds a little bit of drag, but certainly this is a very prideful swim back. Again, this is a shore dive, so I had to hike this guy out, and luckily I had brought some ice. <laughs> Quick stop at my local spear shop for a picture. That was amazing, right? Oh my god. That was such a beautiful sight. At, at the very end when they just quietly and beautifully emerged from nothing to a huge school and man it, it was just surreal I feel so fortunate I got to experience that um, and I'm glad I got to take you guys along for the ride I hope you enjoyed seeing that that was really cool um, also I really appreciate you guys and all your support and if you have any questions that you want uh, answered, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best. And if, if you enjoyed the video, give a brother a like. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And join me diving beautiful California and beyond. Until then, and the next adventure, take care. Okay, a little bonus footage here. I want to share with you how I get the otoliths out of a white sea bass head. So you see me here cracking open the bone, this elongated bone in the skull. And I used chisels to actually cut across and then once I got deep enough I just forced it open by pushing down on it. Here you see me pulling out one of the otoliths. It's inside this like membrane sac. It actually opened up. So here's the other one. So otoliths are basically the ear bones of white sea bass so it helps orient themselves in the water so I collect them from the white sea bass I've shot 
The bigger the fish and the bigger the otoliths. And these are a nice size.